we saw how badly you wanted to be a participant in spring, and you were trying to get as much as you could out of it, and they wanted to pull you back. Were you feeling at that time like you could have participated fully? Like, did you feel like yourself in March and April, or was there still progress you had to make physically then? Uh, no, nah, uh, shoot, I was just excited, man. I just, I just wanted to get back out there, but you know, I, I felt good. I felt good, but uh, shoot, I, I just had to stick to the plan, man. Stick to the plan. Um, stick to God's plan and, and just trust His timing, man. And yeah. So, what was the timing like? When did you feel like, all right, fully back? I can do everything without any restriction. Uh, shoot, once summer training start. Okay. Really, no. After spring ball, when the doc, when the doc declared me. Um. Uh, really, like I said um, earlier, man, just just trying to be a, a leader, you know. Um, definitely during the, during the spring ball, spring practice, while I was watching those guys, just try to lead them and and encourage encourage those guys and try to be there um, for the running back room also. And yeah. How much are you looking forward to progressing into pads and some contact and some like kind of real football stages? Sure, it felt good today. I, I, we put the pads on today, man. It felt good. It was out there competing, going hard, and shoot, it felt it felt great. It felt great. Hey, you mentioned in spring you felt like yourself again. What does that look like off the field too for you? Uh, you know, just just a positive guy, man. I just try to be positive, spread love, spread kindness, and you know, just try to treat everyone, you know, with that with that respect, man. And that's just, yeah, that's 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 just what I try. That's who I am off the field. You know, I had, I had uh, of course, last year, you know, some things didn't go my way, but I just try to, as best as I can, man, just try to um, come here positive each and every day. How do you feel like you can improve this season? What do you want to do? What do you accomplish next month? Get yourself ready to make that. Shoot, we'll see, man. We just got to keep working, man. I'm trying to tune up everything to be the best running back I can. So we'll see. Just got to keep working, man. Nah, nah. I, I work. I was working once. Once the doctor cleared me, man. I was, hey, I was working. I was working. Where is this enthusiasm coming from? You seem a little anxious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shoot. I just say, man, I'm not the same person who I, who I was, uh, who I've been, because, you know, I gave my life to God, and ever since I gave my life to God, I feel like that was the best decision I've ever made, and, and always will be. You know, it's the, it's just. Man, the happiness and peace that that comes with uh, giving my life to him, man, it's, it's nothing like it. So it's just, it's just, I'm just excited, you know, just just happy now. A couple more questions. What were the stuff you were able to do this summer? Like once you got cleared in April after spring, like what were some of those things you were doing to kind of ramp up for for camp? Uh, I did um, track. Um, once I once I got cleared, you know, we had a little break off at home, and I uh, went and um, hopped on the track. Like track at like a high school, like your high school? No, no, no. Like actually, uh, track did track. I ain't compete or anything, but I was like practicing. practicing yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh no, I went back home. Yeah, my my um coach Kerry Kerry Gray, uh, he's a um world class track coach, and I went back and worked out with him, and he's he's prepared me, you know, for summer training and stuff. Um. It was really, really just. I feel like mm, mainly after the sur after the surgery, and I just look back at um, this of, you know how things went in the past, you know, and just my childhood and stuff, man. Just looking back and just realizing like how much I went through and just you know keeping it honest with myself and then how how, how last season went, just keeping it real with myself and just and just looking back at those things, I felt like I could have been a better person. And so that's when I decided to, to get into my faith, man, and just try to better myself as a person through the, through the Lord, man. And He has helped me come so far and overcome so much, man. And yeah, I'm just I'm just so thankful, man, that He guided me to, you know, coming coming to Him. Just knowing, like, whatever, whatever. Whatever happens, if, if things don't go my way, if obstacles come my way, I know that God got me through it all. So no need to worry, no need to, you know, be down. He, he He's going to keep me lifted. He's going to keep me strong. So. Trivia, what, about, Last question. what about doing, like, track-specific workouts that you think might help, tra help translate the football to help you achieve? Shoot, 
just um cuz you know my my foot was down so I just wanted to get that that speed back shooting I felt like I got faster with my coach Gray and then coach Mick coach Mick did a good job and explosive powerful I wanted I wanted to get all those tools back you know cuz coming off a of stage you ain't just going to go feel me be the same person so I had to go actually earn earn those um earn those tools back and I feel like shoot I, I felt like I did Shoot, not that far. I think once I got the boot off, I ran full speed. I felt fast, so <laughs> not that far. <laughs> huh? Shoot, it, it's a lot, man. Men and mentally, it's a lot, and it takes a. It, it can take it can take a toll on you if you don't have the right mindset, and so especially when it comes with the game, man. Just just the mental, you know, mental part of the game, mental part of off the field, man. It's, it's a lot that comes with it, so. You know, keeping keeping your mental straight, and like I said, keeping your mental straight, man, it's it's important. Yeah. Shoot, a lot. We lived in the same apartment complex, so we were just trying to, you know, keep each other together. And I feel like this team overall, you know, one thing about this team, we're a brotherhood, man, and so. You know, our, we was able to lean on our teammates, lean on the people in this building, man. They were just able to keep us, keep us lifted, man. Everyone keeps each other lifted, and and keeps and, and like we're all tight. So, I, f I feel like that, man. That's an, that's important, man. And that's that's what makes Ohio State, uh, the Buckeyes, so special, man. It's just that brotherhood, man. It's it's real, man. It's not it's not fake, man. It's it's real. Last question. Yeah, shoot, y'all see, shoot, y'all for ask him, he'll tell y'all, man, y'all, y'all just gotta see, man. Yep. Hey, what, just clarify, what were the the progress you were you doing, like with the hundred meters, like you doing, like? Shoot, everything. He put me through a lot. I ain't gonna lie. He put me through a lot. Great, great, man. Thank you, buddy. Yep. Thanks, Appreciate y'all.